Continue our coverage now with Josh Navarro, who found a community in mourning over the two young people who were killed this weekend. Counselors were available at both U Prep Charter School and East High School, the alma mater of these students. Josh Navarro spoke to school leaders today about healing. Josh? Maureen, it was a somber atmosphere at both schools where Jarvis Alexander and Jaquela Johnson attended. Students and staff were heartbroken to lose these students during a senseless act of violence, according to them. Over at East High School Moore, uh, we learned more about Jaquela, uh, Jaquela Johnson, that is. She was a cheerleader and on the dance team. School officials say she had a passion for writing. Meantime, UPREP also opened their doors today so students could lean on each other and heal. UPREP is where Jarvis Alexander was an outstanding athlete, a former football player and track star. I spoke to UPREP CEO. Here's what he had to say about Jarvis. He showed us what perseverance looks like. Um, he, he wasn't always the best student, and then he, he changed. He realized that he, he saw his potential. He realized that he had a bright future ahead of him. Now, both schools have sent their condolences to both families. Coming up at 11, we'll hear from Jarvis's coach and close classmates. In the studio, I'm Josh Navarro, News 8. All right, Josh, thank you. Rochester police say hundreds of people were at the party when violence broke out, and they are asking anyone with information to come forward. Not